Okay, good morning everybody. I'm Jim uh, in Seattle, Washington. My business here is Kitty Cot, the world's best cat perch. You can see it at uh, kittycot.com. And I'm just going to, you can see all my kitty cots are stacked up here. I got 200. And uh, I wanted you guys to see how I build these things. Well, first of all, I have my, this is my workbench here. Okay, so I work on this area right here. And I've got my kitty cots all, or my fabrics. These are all my fabrics. And I have all my labels stacked with the label to the right hand side. And then I've got my 90 degree fittings here and my uh, T's right there. I got all my wires right here. So I, this is a two stage process, which I uh, assemble these guys in. So for the first stage is to build these, uh, the kitty cots first, and then I, I'll show you how I attach the suction cups and put them in the bag. So anyway, we'll just go through a real quick uh, little tutorial on how I do it. First I grab that. My pipe, are, my pipe is down here, by the way. I got my different size pipes right there. Okay, so I grab my pipe like this. This one goes in here. Then my wires right here, I grab two wires. One wire goes here. One wire goes here. On the fittings, this is the other thing. This is, here's the, I guess this is the mold right here. You know, these are coming off of a mold. I always make them go down. So the smooth top of the fitting is up always. So I pay a little special attention to that. That gets banged together like this. The short pipe goes in. And I push it against the, I have a stop on the bench, so I push it so it seats the pipe into the fitting. This one goes like this. And then I take these T's, same thing. These have mold marks is what they are. And the mold marks I always put to the downside because I want the finish look to be up. And then this guy goes in the back. And it's important to push them together. And then I get it like that, twist the fitting, spin it like this. And usually you can hear by the sound of the mallet when your your pipe is seated. And then I end up twisting the frame whichever way it makes it. You have to bend the frame a little bit so it sits flat on the bench. And then they go stacked up on top. So we'll go through it again. And I won't say nothing. You can just watch. Well, maybe I'll talk too. I don't care. A couple of wires. And sometimes you'll have raw strands of thread. I use a nice sharp scissors that I only use for fabric to trim stuff. I'm just starting today, so I mean, once you get into the rhythm, you can rock and roll through this thing, you know. It's like, when you're into production, you just know how to make it happen. And sometimes what happens is, the pipe and the fittings, you know, this is all. Sometimes what you have to do is like this. And then you hit this. I hit just the top of the pipe like that. And sometimes what happens with a black mallet, you'll get a scub mark on there. I've got a little bit of this, uh, what do they call that stuff? You can just, oh, I forgot to take all that. like a Brillo. scotch Bright. that's what I wanted to call it. So if there's a scuff mark on there, you can't get off with a, I always wear the gloves too. I, I don't like to uh, not use gloves. This makes it a lot easier. Rubber gloves. Remember, I use those mold marks on, on the fittings, always go down. That way when you're looking at the top of your kitty cot, you don't see any mold marks on it. It's always to the bottom. That's 
I've done a thousand I've done thousands of these things so I kind of got her down kind of like a, a scientist they know what they're searching for in the universe and this mallet it's an S wing. I've used different ones before, and they just they tear apart. I wish I could find a clear or a white one of these S wings. The S wing. I've had that thing for quite a while. If you buy the cheap Chinese ones, they fall apart within about 300 kitty counts. This one here, I do believe, was made in USA. It's just like you want the best, you gotta pay. The price. Sometimes they sit perfectly flat. Just depends. Grab a couple of wires. I never ever thought this would kitty cop business would come to this, but it's cool that it has, because the cats love kitty cots. It's just as easy to make those mold marks go down. You're getting a better product. Everything's uniform and standard, as you know. There you go. That's how that. That's how I do that. Cool.